force design for the Marine Corps' no longer and future aim point. It's a reality today. The Marine Corps is leveraging the latest advancements in intelligent robotics and autonomous systems to increase warfighting lethality, improve all domain sensing, and create survivable sustainment, bringing the service into the next generation of warfare. We must be prepared to incorporate new warfighting techniques and train our Marines to fight at machine speed to meet the growing threat of increasingly technologically advanced adversaries. One area where I think the Marine Corps might be able to focus even more is on artificial intelligence. By some estimates, China is, as a percentage of their overall defense budget, spending three to ten times as much on AI as we are. Repeated reports to the Department of Defense have encouraged the department to move faster in adopting AI, including the Future Defense Task Force. The DOD has enjoyed a technological advantage in the past, allowing us to protect our national security objectives and maintain peace and stability for our allies and partners. New innovative technologies allow warfighters to respond more quickly to rapidly changing conditions providing the means to confront our adversaries more efficiently and effectively in competition, conflict, and crisis. While the term unmanned was commonly accepted, it is impossible to discount the human element in warfighting. Human oversight and interaction with robotics and autonomous systems are critical to the successful employment of IRAS. These tools augment human processes, speed the tactical decision cycle, and allow Marines to expand their view of the battlefield beyond the physical bounds of human perception. Equally significant, as the operating environment becomes increasingly contested through the adversary's use of anti-access aerial denial systems, the ability to sustain our operating forces inside the enemy's weapons engagement zone presents a significant logistical challenge. The physical burden on Marines to carry more supplies and ammunition inhibits their ability to rapidly displace and maneuver, creating exposure to the enemy and risk to the force. IRAS will lighten the Marines' physical load. It provides expedited staging of supplies at the critical point of need and transfer of all classes of supplies across vast distances in the maritime environment. Various air, land, and surface logistical connected vehicles will enable ship-to-shore sustainment of maneuvering units, while reducing the risk of legacy manned resupply aircraft. To maximize the benefits of IRAS, these systems must operate through network collaborative autonomy. Through compatible modular cyber secure networks, IRAS can use common power sources, user control interfaces, and communication hardware ultimately requiring fewer supporting resources. Using interoperable systems and interchangeable power sources results in streamlined training time, reduced costs, and fewer manpower requirements. Feedback from experimentation and wargaming has helped fine-tune uses for IRAS. We must continue to look to industry for the technology solutions that make our Marines more lethal, agile, flexible, and survivable. We must leverage the efficiencies in our purchasing processes and work to increase transparency and cooperation with our various partners. And we must recruit and retain Marines who are experts in the employment of IRAS, so we can continue to serve as the nation's premier force in readiness. First to enable, first to deter, first to disrupt, the first to fight.